in this session we are going to discuss about the agent what is agent what are the different types of agent agent is nothing but the person who is going to take the action on the work item this can be a single person or the list of person tasks are divided into two parts one is background and another is dialogue for the dialogue task we require to have agents that means the one who can take the action on the work item agents we are having of different types possible agents responsible agents and excluded agents possible agents whoever is having authorization or organizationally responsible to take the action on the work item responsible agents means whoever is defined to take the action on the work item is known as responsible agents once the responsible agent takes the action on the work item that responsible agents comes under the category of actual agents that means that becomes the actual agents excluded agents will not receive the work item in their inbox and hence they are not supposed to take any action possible agents now let's understand in bit more detail whoever organizationally responsible and authorized to take the action on the task at run time so these are the different places through which we can this is this is the this is how you can go and you can maintain the possible agents let me show you directly in the system this i have opened this particular workflow already under the swdd transaction let's suppose if i have to maintain the possible agents then how i can do i can go to this task and navigate to the task over here and click on this additional data agent assignment and maintain from here we can come and by clicking on this button we can maintain the different types of agents who will be known as the possible agents we can navigate by clicking on this button as well to that particular place or you can use the pftc transaction slash opftc transaction and you can put that task which is already here click on this and go to additional data agent and maintain so these are the different way through which you can navigate to that place where you can maintain the different types of possible agents now responsible agents responsible agents is defined as whoever is designated to take the action on the work item so here you can see that if a person comes under the category of possible agent as well as they are not excluded agents then he will become a responsible agents responsible agent can be defined at the workflow definition level under the task step so here you can see that let me show you in the system itself come here and this is the task one task i am defining and if you come to this decision here you can see that expression so like this agent expression such kind of tab you will be able to see in your task and there you can define your responsible agent you can have the different types of responsible agents over here make sure you give the responsible agent here so that you are defining explicitly in the system that whoever should receive the work item if you don't define it over here then system goes and check at the task level if some default rules are defined you can see that if there is no rules defined or rule is not able to determine any any agents then in that case it will go and check if the 
task is marked as a general task if the task is marked as a general task then all the users of the organization will be receiving the work item which is dangerous which is not good until and unless it is desired so it's always good to give here the agent define the agent over here if not here then you define the agent at the task level under the default rule otherwise you know if it is marked as a general then all the organization user will receive the work item now see the preference we have seen if the agents is defined at the workflow definition level they will be considered first then the default rule agent at the task definition level and then at last if the task is marked as a general task everyone in the organization will be getting so this is how the precedence for the agent we have excluded agents it cannot be an agent of the task even if they are listed as a responsible or selected agent okay so it is not desired to send the work item into the excluded agents they will not receive and this is defined at the workflow level here you can go and check it out right see here under the agent section we have the excluded we can mention it over here now we can come and see some places where we can find out the information related with the agents so one at the workflow log label you can go and you can click on this button and you will be able to see this second you can come to the work item display level and click on this agent and then at the technical information level also you can find it out let me quickly show you here i have a workflow and in this workflow if you just go and check it i'm defining this user maybe about 18 over here and click on this ok button save this and click on this activate if you just execute this one and execute it once again i'm not taking any action at this moment i want to show you how you can check it out see if you click on this log and click on this agent then see three different tabs are opening under the agent about 18 is mentioned which is the responsible agent under the possible agents you can see all users can process the task because that is a general task and the excluded agents there is no one uh, given that's why again like if you want to see the more information uh, at the different places you can see that you have the different uh, you know here go to agents and selected possible and excluded right so under the possible agents again all users can process this task right now for example let's suppose if you don't give it over here anything okay if you don't give anything over here then just save this and save this and at the task level also if you go and check it no one is there under the default rule 000 everything right so because it is marked as a general task all this user is going to receive though all those will become automatically responsible agents because you are not defining anything over here click on this okay let's click on this save button and click on this activate button let's run it and check it it check it out execute this i will also become one of the responsible agent because i'm also part of this organization okay i'm having this as a user id click on this workflow log now and click on this and click on this agent and it's showing my user under the uh, you know agents and this possible agents all users you can see that it's showing about all the users right so i'm having like i'm i'm about to become the actual agent right you can see that about patent correct so this is how it's going to be okay so uh once again one important point you might be thinking that it's white swing about 18 it should display all the 
possible user right how it's showing over here right for possible agents it's showing all user can process this task if it is marked as a general task why it is showing me over here so answer for this is because already when i have executed the workflow that work item appeared in my inbox that's why it's showing uh, my name because already I have opened that once you open that it will start showing your name other users it will not show whoever has opened that whoever is processing that that name that user id it will be showing you just in order to make sure that i'm going to start this particular workflow you know this is the workflow right so this particular workflow i'm going to start with a program so that automatically it will not be able to open my inbox because what is happening that when I'm opening from here if you see that when I'm going to execute from here directly it's coming it's directly coming over here in my SAP inbox and once it's directly started showing over here you know it will not show you over there all the usernames all the possible usernames it will show my name only so that's in order to avoid this situation we have a program already i have written one program over here let's go and quickly search this program this is the program go into the change mode and i will replace this workflow with this workflow and container and all is not there in this particular workflow so just let it be commented and other thing looks fine i'll put this code on the lms now here click on this execute button and sorry sorry i don't have to go and execute from there i have to execute from this program run this program and you can see that this instance got generated now if you come to slash nswi1 and give this one execute this and here if you just come on to this log part and click on this button now possible agents here all users can process this task and now if you click on this agents here also all users can process this task so all the responsible agents are all the possible agents actually you know because you have marked as a see all users can process this task so this option agents is basically not basically uh, your responsible agent you know so somewhere you will be able to see the name as selected agents you know somewhere uh, uh, will be as a receiver agents for example over here let me go again over there uh, go to and uh, maybe come here and click on this go to and agent here selected agents so the selected agents are nothing but the responsible agents somewhere you will be able to see the recipients so those recipients are nothing but selected agents only but now i will show you here itself that currently it's showing the all users can uh, process that task under the responsible agents but once you go to s uh, bwp transaction that is the sap inbox and there if you open this you know this is the last one just open this one the last one and currently i'm in process i've opened now and now if you just refresh it and click on this and click on this agent you can see that it's showing my user it's not telling that all user can process this task why because already i have opened this and once i open this it will be removed from each and every users you know work items will be automatically removed that's what's the basic difference between work item and messages right messages are going to remain for everyone but work item if you open it will be removed from other people inbox fine so hope you got this particular point now let's come to this uh, ppt once again and uh, here
so again I'm coming to the PPT and now here you can see that selected agents is same as the agents as same as the recipients because you have the different names you know it's uh, uh, you will be able to find the different names in the uh, different places but the meaning of selected agents agents and recipients are same now let's come here and click on this log and once again click on this technical detail and then you can see that here the actual agent it's showing right it's showing the actual agent also you can come and click on this control p and here also you'll be able to see the agents detail right so these are the different places from where you can go and check out the agent detail now let's move further and try to understand little more about the agents see let's suppose you have these as a possible agents which is marked in the yellow color now you have the you know responsible agents defined which you have defined at the workflow definition level now you have the excluded agent which you have again defined at the workflow definition level so now the actual agents who will be receiving the work item is going to be this so these are going to be the responsible uh, these are going to be the selected agents or uh, uh, recipients or the actual agents you know we whoever is there in the green you can see that these all are the actual agents that means the selected agents or recipients that means your selected agents or recipients or actual agents are those who are the intersection between possible agents and responsible agents but not included the ex this excluded agents right so it's the intersection of possible and responsible but not including this ex excluded agents right so these are your uh, actual agents that means the selected or actual recipients now again let's try to understand if you have selected a task as a general task in that case here every user in the organization will be the possible agents right and if you have defined someone as a responsible agents then now if you have defined some people as the excluded agents you know then in that case again like you can see that these are your uh, actual agents or recipients or selected agents right so this is what you know here one thing selected agents recipients or actual agents are same thing fine so this was about the agents introduction in the next part we will be looking about you know the different as like different way how we can assign the agents in the workflow definition